so we're here to celebrate Lila's birthday. And now I have something to read for you, and I shall do so. Dearest Lila, if you believed in religion, I'd ask Pope Francis to make you a saint. <laughs> Since he recently said some good things about Dorothy Day, I'm sure he would consider you. Think of how many people have sought your intercession and were answered. In February of 2002, you were kind enough to put me up in your apartment as I prepared to give a major speech in Los Angeles. It was after speaking with you the evening before my presentation that I decided to make a stronger statement which became the Prayer for America, which I wrote at your place and with your direct inspiration. Lila, you believe in something even more mysterious than religion, the purpose of the United States of America, its potential, its possibilities. While some lament the direction America has taken, you continue to rally the masses to the higher cause of nationhood, the common recognition of our interdependence and interconnectedness, the brotherhood and sisterhood of all. You do it by relentlessly challenging the dreadful status quo which attempts to divide and separate us into small groups and small-mindedness. You always lead us to a better path, a higher cause. Dylan Thomas must have contemplated you, Lila Garrett, when he wrote, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. This is what you do every day. Rage against the dying of the light of truth. Rage against the dying of the light of social justice. Rage against the dying of the light of love. It's not simply the years you have marked which, have made, which make the occasion of your 90th birthday worthy of being observed by our nation. It is your constant vigilance of principle your unflinching advocacy of human rights, your willingness to speak out no matter the risks which mark you as an uncommon person of vision and action who has the capacity to influence people everywhere. Your influence grows with the years. Lila, if this note sounds suspiciously like a love letter, <laughs> that's because it is. Aww. Happy birthday from both Elizabeth and me. Long live Lila. Much love, Aww. Dennis Kisser. <laughs>